a I know this one is relatively shorter than the other like big old binge movies. Um but I've decided I'm gonna take the rest of the month off for the holidays. So yeah, it's if you could go sell by go good old Crimbo. So hope you guys enjoy it and uh yeah. I'll see y'all next year. But for now is Behold Vic Tail the Pygmy Jabera. Hey, <laughs> it's a pretty funny picture. I wonder what it actually looks like. Oh. Oh, it do look like that. The devil is a twink named Luke. Graffiti in the stormtrooper bathrooms. Rapidly unsheathes my katana and you immediately get a phone call from your wife asking for a divorce. Hey, OP, could you please do top surgery? I only do divorces. Callie Mamlet, divorce Ronan. They sever the ties that bind, not the bind of the ties. <laughs> Listen. You can't be everybody's Chick-fil-A source. Overheard motherly relationship advice at the doctor's office today. I... Huh. Moth updates. They're threatening me. Run! You know, the true plot twist of Gravity Falls is that Stanley is the smart twin and Ford is the biggest dumbass in 52 dimensions. Yeah, I've run a very successful business for 30 years while rebuilding a portal with one third of the blueprints and no help from a demon. It says not to summon him, but he called me smart, so he can't be that evil. <laughs> oh, you stupid little bingus. The pensive emoji encompasses such a wide range of emotions. But decidedly, not included in that, is pensive. Sort of how like we took the upside down emoji and decided instead of that just being a silly little man upside down, <laughs> it's about depression. Nobody understands how sucky it is to cook over a fire. I love cooking over a fire, though it gets uncomfortable if my captors forget to turn me over. Speaking of which, Andy turned me over. Ah, thank you. Pam, sir, this is not a clown store. This is a cloud country. Bold of you to assume Tumblr could survive the country. We couldn't even do a fucking con. Did you see that ball pit? Perceive. Milkshake. You know, if this is what was bringing the boys to the yard, I perfectly understand it now. What if there was an apocalypse, but some people were really, really in denial and optimistic and thinking everything will be back to normal soon? Like you'd be forging through the ruins of New York for supplies, shooting raiders in the face and saying, man, this recession is really bad, huh? Um, hold on, let me just, let's just check the date here. February 17th, 2017. Are you kidding me? Was anything going on in 2017? Did everyone just randomly have prophetic visions? This is what I was talking about. People could be predicting shit that'll help us at a worldwide level, but no, they had to be on fucking Tumblr. Here's another one from 2017 by Null Synth. The year's 2020. I am found guilty of treason against the United States for vague blogging that I hate someone, and Donald Trump thought it was about him. Oh my god, the words of the prophets are written on the subway walls. Turns out we had the 2020 vision after all. Yeah. But no, seriously, the words of prophets are written on the subway walls is actually a really fucking metal quote, and then we'll be using it in the future. Bisexual? Do you mean ambisextrous? No. No, I do not. The five love languages. Song recommendations, parallel play, talking about the character... Offering to kill each other's parents. Gifting little trinkets. What was that? What was that? Well, the second to the last one? Gifting little trinkets? Okay. Dear Tumblr staff, just, just stop. It's okay. You don't need to do these things. Just, just focus on functionality, like the video player. We don't need these little updates when something, like the video player, needs your focus. Thank you for your time, but really, Tumblr looks great. Try to fix more important things, like the video player, so that we can all probably enjoy the features of Tumblr, like the video player! This post is a decade old this year. Ow. I got called Madam for the first time today, which was unexpected, but what really got me was when I looked down at the guy's name tag, it was my fucking dead name on there. That was one of the fangs! It is physically impossible for me to eat soup without softly saying, Soup. In the soup voice. I hate that I know what they're talking about. Witness with your eyeballs. Shrike. Don't do this to me. I hate everything about it. Let me tell you about Blorbo from my shows. His name is Glub Shitto. Glub shot first at Goncharov from his Plinko horse to get a live slug reaction, but it was of mole interest, and all he got was vanilla extract. 
All right, I think that's enough Tumblr for the history of forever. Andy, just uh, yeah, hit the hit the nuke button. We're done. Me and my intelligent, charismatic, and strong wife were walking home from the taverns one night when suddenly a gang of ruffians approached my betrothed in an attempt to sully her maidenhood. Luckily. I had across my back the glorious stained steel William Wallace medieval sword. With one swift pull, I managed to draw steel and cut the first man in half of the torso. The blade broke. But I worried not, for the remaining blade was still more than enough to deter the would-be kidnappers. Thank you for your kind words. We're thankful for your purchase. Have a good day. Why is the most delicious part of the microwave mac and cheese permanently fused to the paper dish, making it impossible to eat? I just want nice things. No one actually works at Tumblr. This site is just sentient, and every update it is trying to weed out an infection. The users. Writing prompt. You, the supervillain, have just discovered that the heroes that you fight every day aren't doing this of their own free will. It suddenly makes sense as to why you could never find their families. Uh, oh, damn. Imagine, if you will, three rebets. I accidentally imagined a fourth one, sorry. To imagine four Benoists. Is it possible to learn this power? Yes. In fact, you can go further beyond. Andy, put up five Benoists. There's nothing wrong with girls who come back from the dead stronger than they were before and eat human flesh now. Like, it's normal. It happens all the time. Shut up. Well, that's not very in love with me of you. Fun fact. If you and your friend kiss a robot girl on both cheeks at the same time, her body will take a screenshot. Man, if only we had a robot girl to test that with. Oh, well. Your neutral good character just can't murder people. Um, sure she can. Goodness is subjective. Why do you hate women? Please get out of my house. Don't you want the treasure? You want the treasure, huh, little pirate boy? Little pirate man? Yeah? You want my little bitty treasure, huh? You want to venture like a little itty bitty pirate man you are, huh? Hey, what of it? Puts you in a PMC morbid. Yeah, <laughs> get famous. You better not do this to me. When we're mutuals, I thought you cared. Well, among us six gif, do I have some grave news for you. Having a sibling is either, we ride together, we die together, or, No, officer, I've never seen that person before in my life. There is no in-between. Excuse me. My older brother and I would like to think that it's both. Video games have buffering. One of the DMs I play with has, like, 70 slips of paper that say, Loading, with bits of random D&D mechanics advice, like partial cover grants plus 2 to AC, that he slots into his DM screen when he needs to look something up, assemble something, or think up a mechanic for player bullshit. Wait, hold on. That's actually a really good idea. Of course, it goes without saying. But I am hopelessly dependent on the inked. Um, I am a master of word pronunciations. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Eingat. Normalize Nicholas names. Instead of shorten names, extend them. Well, I think that sounds like a beautiful idea. What do you think, Andinathy? Went to the doctors. They prescribed me dress-up games. And I found out I was trans. Wow, this is crazy. When did I get a pool installed? <laughs> oh man, swimming's great. <laughs> Where'd the ladder go? Fiction doesn't affect reality. Then why did I buy that black v-neck top a couple of weeks ago? Because I liked it? Or because I thought Sasuke would wear it? Ugh, get a clue. Two new concepts. Chekhov's cat. If you see a cat, it will probably be relevant later. And Schrodinger's gun. There's no way to know if a gun is loaded or not until you physically inspect and check it yourself. So it's safest to assume all guns are loaded. You know, these are both excellent rules to live by. Like, j j just in general, not for writing, just in general. Eating stale McDonald's fries. E -I -E -I <laughs> it's important to me that people know the original, he would not fucking say that, was in response to a TikTok where someone said, Eric Cartman would thank you for asking for his pronouns. L like, it just doesn't hit the same without context. This, this is the picture, by the way. Do you see this? You see this? Cursed? Yes? All right, good. 
Every time someone uses he would not fucking say that for something he would absolutely fucking say given slightly different circumstances, or as already fucking said, I immediately become indignant because you can't waste a joke like this on mild characterization nitpicks. Sorry. It has to be on par with any pronouns Cartman. I'm losing my mind. What do you mean Mr. Brightside is 20 years old? What do you mean 2003? Incomplete item. Bye. Joseph R. Fanning! This review is from Six Foot Buddha Maitreya, the Christ Copper Meditation Pyramid System for Healing. Polished copper connectors with four inch capstones. Open parentheses, health and beauty, close parentheses. The tent was missing its stakes, tarp, and a fly cover. I had to cover it in vines and leaves for my camping trip. And I got soaked overnight when it rained. Coincidentally, my hepatitis is gone now. I I don't know. I, I don't know what did it. I don't I don't know. I don't know. One out of five stars! Sometimes it's okay to wake up and wanna be mean to everyone for no reason. You know what? I agree. Andy, for the entirety of this video, put in it sounds yes. at random as you please. Yes. To just make yes. the viewers suffer. Okay? Love ya. Drink my concoction, boy. Please use commas. Drink him. Reblog this fat happy boy for a good night's sleep tonight. Nothing bad happens if you don't just a cute good luck charm. He brings no harm, only good fortune and good dreams. I mean, look at that smile. That's a good boy right there. Fun fact, in Twilight movies, instead of burning up in sunlight, the vampires actually just sparkle. To learn more, look up Twilight Sparkle on Google. Good lord, there's just horses in here! What if Greg Hethley had the death note? He would open a phone book and just start writing. Would he still eat the potato chip, though? Should I just give up on this? I'm crying. This is the deadest plant I've ever seen. God gave me clear purposes in this life when I was created. Be silly. He said. Go be stupid. Be cringe. He said. Well, tell him to do my homework. Hey, what if I just dropped out and ran away to live in the woods? Yeah, me too, friend. Me too. So why did you leave your last job? Because of something my boss said. It says here you were fired. Yeah, that's the thing he said. My drinking mistakes aren't as bad as I get older. I wake up like, did I sign up for Paramount Plus last night? Jesus, did I binge all of Frasier? Sometimes a friend group can be an unknowing harbinger of doom, her best friend, a drag queen Airbnb owner, a couple that kins Bobby and Ken, two unsettling similar looking goth women, and a kindly old meadow who lives in the attic. Wait. This is a cartoon series, isn't it? Me, myself, and I are in a toxic strained polycule. <laughs> And I wouldn't have it any other way. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Please don't start reblogging this again. This post ruined my life. Oh, uh, do I have sad news for you? Hey, how do embrace change? You pretend to be okay with it until the grief of it creeps up to you in a grocery shopping aisle and brings you to your knees. The American healthcare system sucks. I had to get a tooth pulled while I was on vacation in the Gnome Kingdom. You know what that shit cost me? A saucy tail and an acorn, that's it. Dude, you got ripped off. They're supposed to pay you for your teeth. Put that old man in a situation. Th this is my old man. The situation, he calm be. Well, after six to seven years of doing this, I think it's time to revisit a classic. What do you say, guys? Andy, make a random noise to confirm this is a good idea. <coughs> All right, cool. Hey guys, I'm making French toast sticks in the oven. I'm gonna take like a quick nap. Wreck me up in five minutes so I can flip them over. Randy, it's been five minutes! Flip your sticks! <laughs> Randy, your sticks! Kelly... It's, it's just Kelly. September 20th, 2018. Five stars! Verify purchase! Number of items, one. What? Can you say about scissors? Th they're scissors. You put one blade on either side of something you wish to cut, you squeeze the handles together, and, and it cuts. Super sharp too. 
They cut almost as precisely as my father's comments about my career path. <laughs> 80 people found this helpful. Badminton. <laughs> oh, honey, I can assure you it is anything bad. The face I made to make that voice happen has kind of left me blind for a second, so we're just going to sit here until I get my vision back. All right, I got it back. Watch out, rat slap. Rat slap? Rat slap. But why would you slap the rat? Yeah, Ella, if you don't reblog this. Reblog this for good luck. I don't care if it does not fit your blog theme, please reblog it. Whatever, fireball fifth level DC 18 deck save. <laughs> we failed as a society when everyone stopped wearing head pahonies. At my parents' place with two children watching YouTube on tablets and two adults watching TikToks and Reels on their phones and trying not to summon a comically sized Looney Tunes hammer out of my back pocket to smash them all! Yeah, I'm reblogging this twice. I'm tired of people not wearing headphones or watching videos in public. It's basic etiquette to wear headphones in public when you listen to things. Just... Just do it! Probably bad RPG idea. Well-adjusted adventurer with no significant traumatic events or unhealthy relationships. Well, where's the fun in that? How dare you? Then again, that is your URL. And you got it right this time. Good job. In lieu of filing taxes, I am requesting that a witch turn me into a mountain bluebird. He looked like the syrup of a snow cone. You wanna know, I'm not even try to say that. I uh, just AM, do this one. Effervescent. See, I don't even think that sounds right. Why well, are moms capable of just leeching vibe arsenic into the atmosphere when they're pissed? Like, my mom is very slightly annoyed by even one thing, and I'm already feeling bone nausea. I have to get out of this house! I kind of forgot, Firefox official. Are, are, are you the evil blog from the evil world? Yeah, that's me. Thanks for checking in. NASA's ambitious robots find each other in the Mars desert. <gasps> Love wins? Fraud alert! Local woman makes conflicting statements about her cat, claiming he is both a big strong man and a tiny potato boy. Her defense? He he's both, just at different times. What's not to understand? I went to go pick up my hormones from the chemist today, and the guy was quite sweet and very well-intentioned, but clearly way out of his element. When I was leaving, I did the standard, thanks, have a nice night, and he responded with, you too, enjoy your... Very, very quietly realizing what he's saying is highly insane. D -d -d gender And to be honest, I haven't stopped thinking about being a gender enjoyer since. All right, mic drop. Oh, man, that was stupid. What about- Jesse X. Ash's mom is actually the most hilarious thing in the world. Could you imagine you're 12 years old forever, and there's this wretched woman who just won't stop trying to kidnap your dog for nefarious purposes, and then she just starts fucking your mom? Not even just that, but your mom is enamored with her. Your mom has forgiven all the attempts at dog kidnapping. She loves this horrible woman completely, <laughs> sincerely. And the woman has basically revoked all her evil ways. She doesn't even think poorly of you. It's like the moment she quit working for Team Animal Theft, she lost all interest in your super cool dog. The, the worst part, the worst part, is that aside from your dog, this wretched woman, her bestie, and their talking cat are the closest things to constant companions you have had in your adventures, aside from your dog, and have saved your life on more than one occasion. You don't know what you did to deserve this. Maybe it has something to do with that angry girl you hung out with for a while whose bike you stole. Horrible karma, but hey, your mom's happy. And you know what? I ship the absolute fuck out of it. I'm gonna put up one of my favorite artists who, who do this art all the time, Andy put up the pictures. These are done by Kiana Mai, and you can find her stuff on Twitter, on Tumblr. I'll put the links in the description so you finally go look at the description for once. But yeah, if you if you enjoy, just go look at this. She's also really good at art and animation. It's very inspiring. Like her Pokemon redesigns, come on, chef's kiss. Okay, I I'm done gushing. The video's over. Get out, get out. I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done. Why are you still here? Go, 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 get out, get out, out. Bite mark. <laughs> Easy website. Me calming down my vampire horse named website. <laughs> Easy there, website. You know, we could be weird together, by the way, if you even care. Ugh.
My ideal gender presentation is masculinity, but doing it wrong because I'm also doing femininity, but also doing it wrong. Like, you know, my mask, my femme. Well, I'm a boyfriend who looks like a girlfriend that you had February of last year, actually. <gasps> oh, I see what you did there. Hey, which Muppet movie should I watch? First answer gets the pick. I ended up watching Terminator 2. I've been pitching Muppet Terminator for so long. <gasps> Are you single? This is your Grubhub driver, Thomas. Seek me outside, for I have come. My Grubhub was being delivered by a wizard or some sort of apostle. I don't know, that charismatic attitude? Pretty sure that's a sorcerer. Those are my two cents, he says. My man, this was a whole ass dollar. Well, that's the funniest comment to date left on one of my info dumping rambles. Hey, what's the difference between bi people and unicorns? I can see unicorns on movies and TV. I told this to my mom and she was like, that's not, <sighs> yes it is. Also unicorns on TV are called unicorns, not horses that don't like labels. Horses that don't like labels. <laughs> God! I'm going to cause your professor to sigh disappointedly every time you answer a question. I hate that. Stop it. In my documents, straight up writing it, and by it, <laughs> let's just say uh, words, certainly. Trigger warning lies. Hey! Shut up! Average person has two OCs. Factoid, actually. Just statistical error. Average person has no OCs. Star Wars Gyor. Thinking about how when my oldest brother took Japanese classes, his professor was like, your pronunciation is really good, but you need to watch movies that aren't about the Yakuza because you sound like a criminal. Oh. <laughs> if only he was watching movies. <laughs> Andy, put up your favorite picture of Majima. Colin parentheses. Sweet. Fun. Charming. The smile face emoji. Deranged. The general public asks too much of me. I was made to live in a hole and write old stories. Why do you guys make me come out? Uh, let's see. Don't plar Don't plarp his beasts. Uh, I have never been more confused in my entire life. Don't plarp his beasts. What is so difficult to understand about that? Orange juice and apple juice is star-crossed beauty. They can never be together. Because they will taste bad. <laughs> This is nothing. And just and Andy, throw this one in the bin. No, 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 that's the garbage bin. Recyclable bin. There's a chance this joke will get reused later. Oh, I'm not stealing, officer. My bolt cutters were just so, so hungry for some yummy, delicious metal chains. Be a lamb. I need to stop picking at my face, but the problem is, is there's textures on there, and I would prefer if there weren't. Absolutely devastated to discover that attempting to remove the textures will cause new, much more textured textures to appear. Well, surely if I remove this new texture, however, it'll be gone forever. By Talos. This oh, can't no. be happening! Tonight, we have the most gravest of news. The entirety of England is in mass devastation. The source of all of this travesty. Someone has left a terrible review about our beloved Big Ben. And we are here tonight to read that review. Meh? It's just a big clock, nothing more, nothing less. I've got a grandfather clock at home, but that, that's just as thrilling to look at. I don't, I don't understand the appeal. England will never be the same. Man, how'd you become so well read? By reading. Honestly, I didn't know what else I was expecting from that. I remember one time the Simpsons made a joke about Fox News and they got so insulted, they tried to sue them. But the court was like, they say it on your network, you can't sue yourself. Everyone's gonna hate it. Someone will love it. Someone will reach out to you and tell you it changed their life. Someone will hold it close and treasure it forever in a way you can't even understand. Keep going. The fact that makeup is considered to be mature and sexualist <laughs> implies being a clown or mime is the sluttiest job out there. It's probably true and the world isn't ready for it because Jesus Christ, the internet couldn't even handle Gale Tornado. Hey, if my posts don't ever hit, it's because I'm recharging my posting powers. It takes a few days, but don't worry. 
I will get there. I'm just a gay Italian man. I can't handle these stresses. Luigi, when he inherited that haunted mansion. Waiter, can I have another menu now? I finished reading this one. I don't like anything on it. Reciting my eulogy like, we are gathered here today because somebody couldn't stay alive. You didn't even hit that one mill. Tisk tisk. As a child, you empathize with Sonic. As an adult, you kind of see it Eggman's way. Like, you don't, you don't fully support it, but you get it. Yeah, I understand you're charging me for bank robbery, but I lick the money, so therefore it is mine. And I'm not, not guilty. The Washington Zoo has had its first southern three-banded armadillo birth in 116 years, and the baby is so, 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 so precious I could cry. I especially like that top right one. He's just like, I have been alive for only three minutes, and I want out. Hey, I know my sins and papyrus are brothers. Because papyrus is paper and sans is <laughs> stationary. Ah, <sighs> solid six out of ten. I'm so fucking pissed off. I just realized they're called pancakes because they're cakes you make in a frying pan. Fuck English! Waterfall. Oh my fucking god, I'm furious! Ew, I need your robot character have boobs. Why doesn't your robot character have boobs? Coward. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion that Zedrin Ghost wrote this? I don't know anything about Dragon Ball, and I have no intention of getting into it. I just want to know what leads Vegeta, who I understand is the Prince of Space or something, to turn good, settle down, get a beautiful wife, and wear a pink blouse. Well, you see, he met a woman who wasn't intimidated by him, and he had no coping mechanism except to marry her. You know what? I can respect that. Kamikaze is, like, telling the absolute truth. Like, it, I didn't... He, he had nothing else. He had nothing else. All dressing is cross-dressing because it makes me really cross when I have to get dressed in the morning. You know, you can control white people by giving them cheese. Cheese is so good, though. Yeah, I got one. Fun fact, you can also bait him with some of the typical white people calls, as demonstrated. <clears throat> Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Yo, they just let anyone in here? Oh, let me just, uh, squeeze on by ya. Wizard who got tired of fighting and cast fuck up unethical spells like super brain hemorrhage to end them faster. One time I did summon water inside a guy's lungs and the GM allowed it because he had been playing for years and never seen anyone do that. Scenario setup time. Me. I can raise the temperature of a space by 5 degrees Fahrenheit per success. Okay. And that's six successes, so 30 degrees. Okay. And inside the human body is a space, right? I don't like where this is going. So I'm going to raise the temperature inside his body 30 degrees. <sighs> yeah, so he's dead now. He, he was fine. And then he went through all the stages of heat stroke in half a second before his body went, no thank you, and just shut off to stop it from being so hot. G good job. Meanwhile, on a completely other different campaign. I cast fuck you! On a side note, if you're a really big fan of D&D, &D, uh, there's Andy's campaign that I'm in. We're trying to commit a heist. And my character's got a date with the giga thick lady. Don't want to miss that, do ya? Hey, look, a new background. Yay! Is there a goddess out there willing to turn me into Medusa so men can look at me without immediately suffering the consequences? Yeah, stop being lazy and relying on gods. Quick dry cement exists. Be your own Medusa. If you don't have any goddess bestowed cement powers, store-bought is fine. I'm normal, by the way. I'm super normal. I'm normal. I'm normal. I'm not insane. I'm a normal guy. I'm literally just some guy. If you saw me on the street, you'd be like, yeah, that seemed like a normal guy. Don't look at my post. Look at me. I'm normal. I'm telling you, I'm normal. A Norwegian island wants to get rid of time. Norwegian island... Some... Some... Wants to become the world's first time-free zone. The sun does not set for weeks during its summer, and it isn't seen for long winter periods. With a perpetual day or night, residents want to abolish clock time completely. The ideal existence 
Imagine never being late to anything. You know what time's it? <laughs> to put into context how recent gay marriage being legalized is in the United States, the first Five Nights at Freddy games were all released before gay marriage was legalized nationally. I'm probably super tired, but I f this makes it feel like that Freddy Fazbear was the reason gay marriage was now nationally legalized. Th th thank you, Freddy. I saw someone get engaged in a cemetery today, Friday the 13th. So glad to know that somewhere out there, some goth kid's dreams became a reality. Hey, everybody who's in high school right now, in less than 10 years, it's literally going to feel like a bad dream. Like it's not even going to feel vaguely real. Just hang in there. It literally took me like four months. Like the second you graduate, you're in the process of forgetting all about it already. It, 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 it's, it's true. It's absolutely true. Meanwhile, on the other side of adulthood, because things just don't get super better. How much of the I hate being an adult is really just the feeling of crushing pressure of capitalism? Bruh, like all of it. I had Ken and you as British. What if it, what if this was just it for me? What if this was all it took? No, I'm sorry. You actually need to seek approval through Andy. Andy, cast thy judgment. Darwink, do you have a significant other? I'm significant by myself. That's a good kind of self-love right there. You're not ascending to godhood, you're just dehydrated. Out of my way, gay boy, I'm about to liberate my divine self from this mortal shell. Uh, uh, boodle, uh, boodle, please. Tumblr user, can they kill Macbeth? Could a self-driving car kill Macbeth? This is a literal legal debate that I do not feel at all qualified to weigh in on, but thank you for your submission anyway. Hell empty. All the devils here. Oh my god, this wasn't a dick out joke. This was a Shakespeare quote. Don't be crass. Hell empty. Devil's here. Dick. Out. It's what Shakespeare would have wanted. Favorite Pokemon conceptually are the ones counted as a single entity, but are just clearly like, more than one guy just hanging out. They're unionized. Going to the conservative museum and looking at the heterosapiens. <laughs> that one's good. I like that. Someday, it'll be a hundred years from now. But science can't know when. The question of when a hundred years from now will only be sadly answered a hundred years from now. Sadly. By then it'll be too late. PM, how dangerous are you before your morning coffee? Me before morning coffee. Get. Nerd. Oh God, no! Hey look, we held a poll across all the social medias that I do things on and they wanted the new background to stay by a landslide. Yay! You guys are Jeff the killing me. Help girl, I'm Ben drowning. It's Slender Man. Actually, Frankenstein is the name of the scientist. The name of the monster is creature underscore final underscore final underscore this one, the three. Hey, hey, I don't like being called out like this. Pro tip, your friends don't hate you. Nobody's secretly mad at you. You have anxiety and that's okay, you're loved. But what if they are secretly mad at me? <clears throat> what we should be wearing? A horrific mashup of Victorian Gothic and 80s clothes. I'm just gonna wear these together. Do it, coward. I dare you to pull it off so well you start a new fashion movement. Actually, th this... This kinda looks like a good idea. Collateral damage? I prefer the term environmental storytelling. You destroyed 17 buildings! Yes, and all the archaeologists are gonna have fun piecing together what happened. <laughs> Live, laugh, love? Oh, girl, everyone's moved on. They all moved past that. You see, the new thing nowadays is scam, swindle, steal. Now for just $20 per month. Girl, help the elder tours are organizing a Pride and Prejudice party and making us dance to mirror their forbidden and repressed love. Yes, there is a Michael Jackson thriller video reenactment outside trying to get in. No, oh, yeah, I still want that rare Doctor Who annual. <clears throat> it made sense when I wrote it. I wonder how much of the movie theater for FNAF is going to be Clueless parents slash guardians taking their horror-obsessed kids to go see it. 
Good thing I've gotten the lore explained to me 68,385 times by my sister, so I'm better than all of them. There's a purple guy. Don't forget, Freddy's also there. No fucking way. Dude, Passion Peachy ain't ready to even hear about the bunny. Tumblr? No, I hardly know her. <laughs> Everyone is nostalgic, and no one is sincere. D -d Do you get the idea? Reboots made by people that don't respect what they're rebooting. Punching down before BuzzFeed listicles punch first. Isn't it weird that the princess married the prince just after meeting him? Isn't it cringe that magic exists? Irony poisoning of childhood classics? Well, that just happened, humor! Say something true and beautiful, or I will start throwing rocks! You know that feeling when you're in bed and you open your eyes, but you haven't noticed you opened your eyes? That's how I feel all the time. No more, please! Every neurodivergent person who's ever been made fun of because of it should be compensated with a life-size pirate ship, their very own crew that loves them, and all sing sea shanties together. A lifetime supply of rum, oranges, card games, and cannonballs with proper protective equipment, and an animal companion of their choice if they'd like. A a and wizard powers? And wizard powers! Oh man, is this how I find out Monkey D. Luffy from hit anime One Piece is neurodivergent? Cause damn, it all makes sense now. I must not explain the joke. Explaining the joke is the joke killer. I will face my followers who did not get the joke. I will permit them to pass over me and through me. Is this a reference to something? Why'd you write it like that? Is that from something? You are making this so difficult. Would you put a discarded fruit sticker on my forehead in whimsical jest, yes or no? Reblog to put a discarded fruit sticker on the forehead of the person you reblog it from in whimsical jest. Andy, can I get one, please? Hey, what's the best kitchen appliance to attack people with? Fridge, if you can lift it. Humidity got me on some Dr. Doofenshmirtz shit. I'm going to build a beam that will zap every water molecule in the tri-state area out of the air. Don't bother warning me about the consequences of this. I don't care. I don't like being sticky. All right, Bucko, let me put it in words you'll understand. <clears throat> They call me Detective Dick Detective, and I'm the worst cop in Pouty. <laughs> <laughs> I just love his fucking name. Utilizing the gift of imagination to hallucinate moments of tenderness between fictional people. Me with the one slur and the neighbor from Hello Neighbor. How did this happen? Just saw someone with, use whatever pronouns you use for yourself or me in bio. I honestly never considered the death the pronoun metagame could have. We barely scratched the surface with this shit. Move to NYC, eat balls all day. Bagels! <laughs> Bagels! D Discord isn't sending my message help! This is torture! Balls typing! Oh my god! It's Tumblr! Oh god! Okay. Yo, she's got legs for days. Pfft, not impressive. I've had mine for years. How do you guys vocalize the punchline semicolon silly punctuation? I always imagine it's a teenage boy voice crack. Hey, come on now. It's not nice to make fun of somebody's voice changing as they get older. It's also not nice to make fun of detective baby legs, okay? They're trying. I love the phrase, they get along like a house on fire. It's perfect. You and me have perfect chemistry, and it's setting off the carbon monoxide detectors. People are calling emergency services to get us to stop being so chummy. Someone died. You panicking running for your life through my labyrinth space station. Me over the intercoms. You have turf bangs. I've never played Portal, but I assume this is what it's like. I'll hang on, let me make one adjustment then. You have turf bangs. I'm reading a story and the characters sat down for dinner and the way it was described I read that the mashed potatoes were part of the salad. Out of curiosity to see if it was a thing people actually do, uh, th this was this was the closest result I got on Google. Close <laughs> enough. Yeah, we put your girl in the fandom and they villainized her beyond comprehension. Yeah, sorry. They took out all the nuance and made the argument completely black and white. Yeah, my bad. We can't reverse it. Sorry. All right, comments and Andy, name that character. Proceed with your perceivers. 
Paint primary colors on fan wings. Brilliance! Did we just discover how to paint with all the colors of the wind? Irrationally angry at the people around me failing to pay attention to the airplane's descent and landing. You're literally having a magical experience. Can you fathom the people who have died dreaming about the thing you're currently playing Candy Crush through? A lot of people have died doing this thing too. Just saying. I want to be as healthy and as beautiful as a grazing wild ox. Wild oxen are smelly and gross. Then smell me. Be disgusted by me. I am freely myself. I am me. Well, time to hunt this odd yellow wild ox and put out of its misery. Forget Blorbo for my shows. Look at Blorbo from my house. <gasps> that right there? That's a good Blorbo. Being a weird little girl as a kid provides two options to you. Becoming transgender or becoming a weird adult woman. Both of which are things the world needs more of. I'm sorry, did you mean uh, whoopam? I am not gaslighting you. I'm lying to you. Gaslighting implies a level of effort that I am simply not putting in. Deceiving you does not require much. <laughs> Kirby looked away as his eyes watered. I erased him from existence with my own two nubs. Kirby fanfiction is the funniest thing in the entire world. The important thing to note here is that this refers to canon events. This isn't the author being super edgy or making things up. This canonically happens, and Kirby fic writers just take it in stride. A five foot seven white boy has been reported doing wall push-ups outside of 7-Eleven. Now something bad's happening. <gasps> Jesus Christ, he folded down. Someone help him up. The shrew and the gar separated at birth. I like the Gar's face, because that is like the smile of someone who just let someone else take the blame for his own fart. Ladies, I have got to ask, what is going on? Well, I wake up in the morning, and I step outside. And I take a deep breath, and I get real high. And I scream from the top of my lungs. What's going on? Mouse girl 257 meters away. 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 Mouse girl 256 meters away. She's only got little legs. Please be patient. I will sit here and wait if her opening line is cheese to meet you. When my parrot wants pets off someone, he'll go up to them, say hello, and lower his head to expose his neck. Recently, however, he's been doing this to a pitch black crevice behind the couch. Even trying to control the darkness with kissy noises is getting sad when the void won't pet him. How do I explain that dark chasms are not friends? There's a ghost in there. And a damn rude one too! Pet the bird! Mm, mm, mm. The worst chair infestation I've ever seen. Thank God for that rope, otherwise that'd be super unsafe. Maybe the girl and the car's boyfriend and the hookman simply ran away together. Did you ever think of that? Man door handed unlovable hand hook car door. I was just like me, except we don't share any personality traits and I don't do any of the stuff that he does. Probably good RPG ideas. Bard Barbarian who channels their anger through jazz violin. I'm writing this one down. As soon as we explore 100% of the ocean, all the fish become two times stronger and a new area will unlock. I'm not prepared for two times stronger whales. Gets to the part I really started writing this fanfic for. Me. This better be good, me! Worst part of living with animals is in the nighttime sloppy licking cleaning noises. I'm sorry, but I cannot sleep. Please? See, I can stop. Please, please, please! My cat is licking himself loudly and wetly somewhere in this pitch black room and it sounds like there's an old man eating a bowl of chili in the dark with me. Thanks, I hate it. Executive dysfunction is like all your abilities are on cooldown and you're mashing buttons to try to do anything, but your brain is just like, I can't do that yet, that's still recharging. I can't do that yet, that spell isn't ready yet. That's still recharging. What the fuck, I didn't know this was a thing. I thought it was just a piece of shit, oh my god. And that's why talking about mental illness is important. Today I learned the inventor of the polygraph married the first person he interrogated. <laughs> Do you like me, yes or no? 
He also created Wonder Woman, and he and his wife had a third woman who lived with them, and she and his wife stayed together after he died. This is a basic level weird trivia facts, people. It, is that why it's called a polygraph? That's a 10 out of 10 joke, Andy. Give him a gold star. Wonder if simply mentioning PM Seymour will be enough to show up in a video. Oh well, only one way to find out. I wonder if reblogging a post mentioning PM Seymour will be enough to show up in a video. Well, I did respond, the true and proper way to summon me is as follows. <clears throat> First, get five cups of coffee and lay them out in the shape of a moon. And then, you put a cute blue elf in the middle of that moon. And then you say the magic words, PUNK! And voila, I am there. The biggest problem with writing fantasy in English is that there's really no alternate universe phrasing that carries the exact tone and context to the reader as Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, it's true. I, I don't believe this. I tried to send my stressed out girlfriend a supportive message about how smart and talented she is, but my idiot fingers only typed You're snart before pressing send. Normal guy who transitions into a different, equally normal guy. Guy who changes his name from Robert to Tom. I knew a guy whose legal name was Robert, but went by Den for literally no reason. This genuinely makes me happy. Good for him. Good for him. D&D &D is great. I just tried to slam a guy with a two-handed maul and missed, swinging into the floor. I roll for damage against the floor because, of course I do. I roll high. The tiles are crushed to bits, and as a free action, I grab a handful of floor gravel and shove it into my mouth to straight up eat it in an intimidation attempt. My combat opponent is horrified. I get plus two to hit him next turn. Jesus Christ, this sounds like a cartoon. Tumblr, I'm going to be honest with you. I have never seen the letter Y and not thought of it as a vowel. I know the whole and sometimes Y thing, but I honestly don't know when Y isn't a vowel. Can someone in chat with a bigger brain than me explain? Because I, I also agree with Hirachi here. Sometimes things are tough, but look at this bun. <gasps> oh my god, Andy, do you see it? It's a panoi! Ah, I remember the first time I tried drying catnip in the food dehydrator and accidentally invented a cat vape station. Came home to all three of them, I only have three at the time, literally laying on or around the dehydrator, stoned out of their little kitty minds. I think we have a business plan here, folks. So at my house, we have an intercom in everyone's room, and when you press talk and speak into it, everyone can hear what you say. So last night, at like 1 a.m., I spoke into it and quietly whispered, Shia LaBeouf. I heard my mom scream in the other room. <laughs> that was, I like that one. That's good. Here's a thought. Would a dramatic furry go, Oh, woe is me. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Andy, just, just throw the video in a boiling pot of water and just close the lid. We're done. Oh, wow. You're so polite. Thanks. I'm afraid of you. Taking that guy out of situations and putting him in a loving polyamorous relationship is our Feeling sensitive and sweet and so cute and sinister, plotting evil, and being a monster. Hot queer space tips. Never trust any spot that has fewer than two fat and hairy people present. You have no idea what other problems the space has if they can't even meet the bare minimum. <laughs> that was good. Andy, two gold stars. Stuffed animals will see a crack between the bed and go, Hey, is anyone going to fall into that? And not wait for an answer. You look like if I threw rocks at you, they all bounce back and hit me. See, that's funny because in actuality, I'd simply perish if you threw rocks at me. Die in the spot. Y you killed me. I'm gonna isekai you into people's playground. People keep sending me threats with references to things I've never heard of. Oh my god, you too? Transgender brain! Gay lightning! Uh, I'm out of spells. Damn, only two spell slots? Hey! 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 He's only a level one sorcerer. Back off. What if a bobcat had a bobcut? That bobcat is out on the prowl for the manager. 
Saying using references makes you a bad artist is like saying using recipes makes you a bad cook. Do, do you understand now? Do I have to keep clapping? I'm just gonna keep clapping. Probably sounds very inappropriate out of context, but I'm clapping, damn it! The homoerotic tension between two monster energy flavors. And they both taste like cough syrup. My brain, when I try to do things, that'll give me joy. Hey, hey, hey! Who well, the fuck is serotonin? Hey, I'll help you who serotonin is. Andy, put up serotonin. Wow, look, it's her right there. Wow. Do you, do you feel the happy yet? Please tell me you feel the happy. Probably good RPG ideas. Paleontolish druid? Now, can they turn into skeletons? Or rather, can they turn into skeletons in a way that isn't the usual way for people to turn into skeletons, a.k.a. losing flesh? Better. They use what they learn about the skeletons to turn into a living version. Oh. Well, that's great. Cool. Yeah, good. People who eat super spicy peppers are pretty much just bored. ADHD. That is not what that is. Fun fact. The word cute is gender neutral. This can be proven in concept by calling me gender not quite conforming person. Cute. Without misgendering me. Try it. Yeah, she's a 10, but she talks to animals like they'll respond. I'm sorry, but she's still a 10? Fuck's wrong with you? I'd abuse the fuck out of a PhD. I'd just start making up shit like, You! Steven! Yeah, you, Steven, watching this. I diagnose you with pepopisma. Don't even look it up! You don't even want to know. Don't even want to know. Do you ever just flex your foot wrong and it cramps and you're just like, This is it! This is how it ends! Foot hurting. Sir? That is my beloved mutual, with whom I have not shared a fandom since 2013. You will show them respect. I miss when you could touch his TV and feel its fur. When an old TV died, it was always very understandable. You know, like screen busted, tubes broke, animals sick. Smart TVs will have psychomatic problems that'll clear within a day. Your Apple TV gets mental illness. Addicted to saying, yeah, I'll definitely check that out, about things I will definitely forget to check out. Not me, I'm going to get to it, for you see. I have opened a tab. Holy shit, that's a, that's a lot of tabs. Doctor said I need to gay kiss someone soon or I might die. Ah, I see you have come down with Pepopisma. I mean, you weren't supposed to look that up. You just hate the cis because of the things that they did. I hate the cis because it is led by the treacherous Count Dooku. And it's not even about him being a person, it's just because his name's Dooku. Fuck this time loop, I'm leaving! Walks into a different, worse time loop. It's called getting a new job. How would people mean to stuffed animals? One time I was trying to clean up my room and I tried to justify giving away a stuffed animal by saying, Well, it's a little ugly. And I immediately, I was just overwhelmed with monstrous guilt and I understood the concept of a Catholic hell and I was going there. You imagine that? You just up at the gates and Peter's just like, mm 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 mm, no. No, 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 no. Remember the time you called the stuffed animal ugly? Yeah, start going downstairs. Perceive the shadow of Mount Rainier causing a gap in the sunset. <laughs> Wrong. Darkness beam attack! <laughs> So y'all remember that episode of iCarly where they signed a deal to promote shoes that ended up being terrible, but they couldn't go back out of the contract, so they found a loophole and said all the things terrible about the shoes in a positive way? That's how YouTubers promoting Raid Shadow Legends sound half the time. Honestly, I've been noticing that with the YouTubers who've had to, had to promote Isekai Slow Life. It's like, it's got, it's got anime girls, you know? People always ask me, you good? Bro. I am true neutral at best. When was the last time you slept? When was the last time you looked behind you? Tonight, scientists fight crab for mysterious purple orb discovered in California deep. This, this is the best headline. Did they win? Do you ever just write out a multi-paragraph rebuttal to something and then think, actually, no, I don't want to get involved in this, and then close it? This is so healthy, though. You get to put your thoughts to words, and then you light them on metaphorical fire. It's cleansing. Going to the vendor fair is pretty much getting free samples of pens, candy, and bags. But girl, I still go back. Boys will be boys. Yeah, well, not if I get to them first. They call me Trojan. S. Trojan. 
Because that's a solid joke right there. And you give him the fattest gold star you got. Whatever souls are made of, yours and mine are the same. Insult. Soulmate. Derogatory. Let me get this straight? Mm -mm. Nah. Let me run something by you. Let's just pan this out. Shout out to everyone on my dashboard who is enthusiastically talking about whatever the fuck they're into that I don't recognize. I love your enthusiasm. Keep going. I don't know what's happening, but I support you. Hey, oh, this guy can't find the divine within the mundane. Kill him, girls. Oh, dear. It would seem my mutual has gone insane. <sighs> it's me. I'm the mutual. So the thing about buying time is that it means you're wasting time. Draconic hero, stop. Stop being right. The neurodivergent urge to think and think and think and think. An inexperienced Egyptian god of the afterlife. Anubis. I do not want self-help. I want a crypt. I need a hole. I need a cellar. I need a dungeon. There was a little German boy talking to his papa at the mall today, and it was like walking past a celebrity. Making content about characters you don't think about a lot is so embarrassing. Like, what if the fans see and your interpretation of their Blorbo is so atrocious that they have to block you? Like, I'm sorry, I didn't study at Spamton University. Yeah, here's my response to that. Fucking do it anyway. If you like the character and you want to do stuff about him, j just, just do it. Someone just asked me if I could be normal for a bit. Ma'am, do you know who I am? I am niche internet nobody. Of course I can't! Hey guys, so I'm not the only one who actually buys things on Amazon. I'd like to introduce you to my wife, who also buys things on Amazon. Here's one of the reviews she has about it. Okay, here we go. Bye-bye. Absolutely gutted. I've just sat and blown up all the letters just to find that the D is missing, but it's been re replaced with an extra A? It's my daughter's birthday tomorrow, and now I won't be able to decorate it as planned. Not happy at all. Man, you sound like a really good Karen. <laughs> Happy birthday. <clears throat> <clears throat> We're back. KITR will now follow the player even if in clash mode. KITR will no longer mercilessly devour the player if in clash mode. A coin's max distance to attempt hitting a core eject or rocket is now based on the core distance to the player rather than the coin to make orbital nukes possible again. Short story. Fix the issue where food was occasionally not being exposed to bubbles during the serving challenge of the old, the angry, and the word snake. We taught Asano and Tobin to count. We taught Rowan the meaning of capitalism. Now your sims can make more informed choices on if they want to suffer the consequences of eating dairy when they're lactose intolerant. We've done a large update to food for a more accurate lactose-free experience. How immersive. Buffed fishing, nerfed fishing. Villagers are now prevented from getting a profession when sleeping. Come on, man, they were just following their dreams. Added crab aberrations. Crab aberrations. Fixes an issue whereby characters would be immune to fall damage for a long time after jumping on bouncy mushrooms under certain circumstances. Sorry, Genshin players. You can no longer rudely walk away from Cerberus when forging a bond with him. Why would you walk away from the good boy? He got three good boy heads. Fixed. God is now no longer scared of a fake gun. Removed Airy Rolls. Added Airy Rolls back. Arachnophobia option added. Replace all spider sprites with a cake. Fixed a bug where enemies could be launched out of bounds in a late game area, making them impossible to kill. Perks. The cannibal. Players can no longer eat corpses while also using furniture. <laughs> oh, well, that one got me. Fix an issue where guard 26, specifically 26, might behave abnormally when interrupted while placing a bomb. And finally, October 18th. 2019, V1.0.4. Fixed turtle exploit. Or did we? Did you know 
Cuttlefish have three hearts because they love you so, so much. You see this little guy? He loves you. Behold, live footage of Daylight Savings taking the sun away at 4 p.m. <laughs> Give it back! I'm fake open. Very forthcoming about things that don't really matter so people won't notice that I'm very guarded about the things that do. That's a one thing. Isn't it so funny there's such a thing as customer service voice? Like, I have to speak to you like a child, or you'll rip my face off like a wild chimp! Please stop adding there are two kinds of people and that escalated quickly to text posts. There are two kinds of rapid escalation. Well, that people twicely. Come here. Mmm, yummy. I always see sensory avoidant autistic people talking about how their favorite foods are all plain carbs. But where are the sensory seeking autistics who live on garlic and spicy foods? The ones who will eat a straight lemon and hate butter noodles. I put hot sauce on everything. From Twinkies to milk. It's what I do as the ultimate life form. And before comments that say Snapcube did it better. Did I ever tell you guys? No, you never did. And I never will. Stardew Valley Deb is too protective of their IP to give away its movie rights. Unless Studio Ghibli is interested. Concerned Ape knows what's up. Oh, god damn it. She escaped containment again, didn't she? Yeah. Happy Mariah Carey season, everyone. Johnny Test is short for Johnny Testrogen. Why didn't I just say testosterone? I don't know, where, Ralph. I don't know. Holy shit, it's called a home run because the runner runs from home plate back to home plate? I swear to God, if that's not why it's called that. Hold on, I am Googling this and sending the screen cap to Andy. Why is it called home run? Okay, good. It's it, That's exactly what it is. Thank God. Okay. That little bet has no clue that it's embodying Halloween right now. Because it don't understand what holidays are. It does, however, understand what pumpkins are. Is it can eat those? It can't eat Halloween. But it's... I need your tags, I'm sorry. Shout out to fifth grade me for having a college reading level and apparently using up all future motivation for actual college age me to read what I'm supposed to. You ten-year-old asshole. I feel like being gay can make you a really late bloomer in terms of, like, being interested in other people romantically. Because I'm 20 years old and I'm only just now evolving into the how much flannel do I have to wear before girls will like me phase. It's like being 13, but as a 20-year-old! Wario is a vampire's worst fucking nightmare. Garlic breath, no neck to bite into, not polite enough to invite anyone inside, effectively immortal, and worst of all, Roman Catholic. Hey, um, yeah, I put your boyfriend in the oven and asked some Tumblr people to wake me up from a five-minute nap. Yeah, he's still in there with Randy Sticks. I'm really sorry. Randy! You cannot say that a top-grossing artist is feral or making you feral. You are listening to the Billboard Top 40. You are very domesticated. That's a stupid-ass take. The fame of an artist doesn't define how it makes you feel. Do you not see me going hog while eating potatoes, easily one of the top five most well-known vegetables? We're like shooting stars, you and I. I, I mean, we have a point. And finally, Elf Barbarian. He's Barbarian and Elf. Half-Elf, yes. The other half is VIOLENCE! Chugging water, like I'm dying of dehydration and then getting a tummy ache from drinking too much. Like, if you agree, I don't know why I always do this. Pros of having a brain that makes very fast associations. Good comebacks and jokes! Cons of having a brain that makes very fast associations. That story about how you broke your foot reminded me of a fun fact about lizards. Would you like to hear it? Too bad, you're gonna hear about it. Guys, I'm getting pretty mole disinterested. It's going viral! The funniest thing that's happened to me recently is that someone seemingly tried to update my pronouns on a medical system, but accidentally made it so that my actual name is now they, them. Dear them, you have been referred for an assessment, promoted your pronouns to nouns. When someone's bio is like, life is short, buy the plane ticket, I'm like, okay, thanks for clarifying, we are on different tax brackets. PNG is my friend. 
JPEG is my mentor. WebP is my sworn enemy. Your Honor, in my client's defense, he is a poor little meow meow. A sopping wet cat, if you will. FNAF fans when they have to defend William Afton. Such a raw ass pose. Do you think they were asked to pose like this or they just did that? These guys are about to drop the sickest diss track ever. For the next challenge, you have to feel your feelings instead of trying to intellectualize them. <laughs> no thanks. I'd rather not. Pucky Joe, I need the name of your therapist. I've never been to therapy. Well, that explains it. The monsters are real. Dairy Queen employees are Haman users. Care to explain? Hey, don't cry. One cup heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons granulated sugar, three tablespoons cocoa powder, and whisk until stiff peaks form for three ingredient chocolate mousse, okay? It's pretty helpful, thank you. In the winter time, you can remove the frozen status effect by drinking some warm tea. But watch out, you may be inflicted with sleep status effect instead. That's what winter do feel like. Local man down bad. For a man in Lego City. Medieval Backstreet Boys. You are my fryer. Kitchen Appliance Backstreet Boys. You are my fryer. Employer Backstreet Boys. You are my hire. Ancient Greek Backstreet Boys. You are my liar. Laundry Worker Backstreet Boys. You are... My child, <laughs> this fucking shit's crazy. I need to be cleansed. I need to commit sins against God. The duality of man. Maybe it's because I'm weird, but I've just realized that the reason Death the Kid rides a skateboard is because it's one of the few modes of transportation that is perfectly symmetrical. I mean, yeah, you're probably right. What is it about laying on the floor when you're overwhelmed that makes everything feel so much better? When God has ceased to answer your prayers, it feels good to distance yourself from heaven. Adding this to my list of incredibly raw fucking lines gifted from the impossible wonder that is Tumblr. Thanks. I see you caught me bouncing on my ball. I have the thought in my mind of a studio trying to remake Revenge of the Nerds, but nerd is too mainstream nowadays, and they want to recapture the edgy raunchiness of the original, so they very cluelessly named it Revenge of the Incels. And it did horribly. Yeah, I'll just bring into my trap until I... Do you think the inventor of the colon has any idea how much joy they brought to this world? They invented her, 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 and dozens more. Call me Imagine Dragons the way I'm breathing in the chemicals. <laughs> you can't employ me in a way that matters. Don't even try. Hey, is there an HRT but for becoming a cat? Buying a fursuit. It's a pretty cool ship you got there, but, um, have you considered adding another guy to it, though? These do try to bargain their way on Noah's Ark. Guy who says, it's okay, I'm reclaiming it, when you tell him not to take the Lord's name in vain. How do people not swear? Like, where does their anger go? How do they show their enthusiasm? What if they stub their toe? Like saying, golly gosh, isn't really gonna cut it, Barbara. If Tumblr dies, I'm not crawling back to Twitter. Set up a summoning circle at your nearest crossroad if you need me. I came to Tumblr to get away from summoning circles. I can ignore notifications. I can't ignore Steve trying to reach me into the abyss to pull me out just to impress some girl he met in the occult. Fuck you, Steve! Every single tall person is totally okay with being made fun of for being tall. You can ask how the weather's up there and they just grin and go, <laughs> Yeah, I'm tall. Every single short person, however, is fueled by rage at their height. Make fun of them at your own peril. You ask how the weather is down there, and they will instantly go from zero to, Bitch, I will cut you. The shorter we are, the closer to Satan we are. Am effervescent. Am effervescenting so hard right now. You don't even know how effervescent I am. I'm so effervescent. See, I still don't believe it's supposed to be pronounced like that. I'm going to go with the furfescent. Oh, characters putting their hair up and things get serious. But also, characters letting their hair down, allowing it to be wild and cascade down their shoulders when they're at home and relaxed. <laughs>
I had a dream. They unveiled a new Diglett evolution that was basically like 20 Diglets in a group. It was called Dugstruction. Holy shit, I need it. Sam sung. No idea what it was that Sam sang, but apparently it was so good that Sam has a monopoly in South Korea. Oh no. This place is a cesspit. Affectionate. Versus. This place is a cesspit. Derogatory. Narrow, divergent cowgirl. Call that yaltism. <laughs> God damn it, I hate it. I think it would be really funny if they reused the Mario movie cast for the Legend of Zelda movie. Have Chris Pratt play Link and Anya Taylor Joy play Zelda. And Jack Black can play Gandalf or whatever the fuck the bad guy from Zelda's called. How fucking dare you come into my house and not call him Ganondorf? I am blowing this video up with my mind! Oh my god, it's Patchy time. Fixed an issue where the opera singer could leave the Shadow Realm while sneaking in the basement. Ooh. World 7 fixed the issue where Panda from Mad Panda Trio was holding a glass of sparkling barley tea upside down in Devil's Brewery. That panda better have their pinky out. Wait, do pandas have pinkies? We may have fixed an issue causing the volleyball midi game to be exceedingly sped up on some devices. I know it's probably not about Dead or Alive Extreme, but can you imagine? During the final battle with Redacted, the masked kid would get stuck in a falling state while landing in a certain way on platforms. This would, in turn, send the player flying through the floor and out of bounds. Yikes. Fixed game becoming unresponsive after the ending sequence. But, but the game's over, you're done. You can play it down now. Go outside, little Timmy. Added new portraits for some characters. I will not argue. I failed in drawing some of the previous portraits. I, I, I failed. I draw for a living. I fucking hate it. Fixed jumping system near the edge of the platforms. Now the player have a possibility to jump a few moments after Alestia begins to fall. That makes the player more responsible. Reduce the chance of situations in which the player, falling into the water, instead of appearing on the edge of the platform, fell down again. Fixed a rare situation when a player saw a random number of symbols instead of the normal text. That was not cryptic lore. Matthew Patrick, get off my lawn. Removed all the funny, more funny, even more funny, and the remaining funny. Added new moments in which a paladin will break their oath, like torturing a prisoner, killing a pixie after helping her, burying someone alive, breaking someone's legs. You know, your regular Tuesday afternoon. Sometimes it's all at once, because, you know, your broken-legged pixie prisoner has to go somewhere. Attempted to fix a bug that makes the game break for people who have French names. I I I'm dead serious. More details below. This does not <laughs> at all. Squatch his ball will now be harder to lose. If you lost his ball, go see him at camp and he might give it back. Ball warranty voided for chasm-related accidents. A wink. Well, let's new. The application icon has been changed. Ads now appear less recurring. New categories. Fix the bug that causes it to close when entering for the first time. We solved the bugs that we had added in our previous version. Oh, and uh, we added even more bugs to avoid losing our jobs. <gasps> I knew it! Oh, there's very large grilled cheese in this. I'm pretty sure that's poison. Pretty sure that's organic tomato soup. Steve! So do you listen to a song until you can perfectly replay it in your head, or are you a Norman? Shh, you, you, shut your mouth! Hey, why would you do if I... I'd probably... I'm setting a quest for you all. Go find a cool thing in nature. Sticks, leaves, rocks, flowers, or anything else that makes you happy. But it's night time, and I'm too small to eat me to go out, and it's cold. Will my collection of about 45 cool rocks from the beach that I already have count for the quest? That will suffice, but you don't have to do the quest right now. I spent all day doing side quests instead of progressing the main story. Yeah, I know you're talking about a video game, but this is actually a really good metaphor for my life. Your pet thunderstorm bobs around excitedly when you lift the lid of the terrarium. You turn on your hairdryer and blow in a tiny warm front. It booms with joy as its little clouds flash and roll. I have never wanted an imaginary thing more than this. Encountered today. A math professor wearing a shirt his grad students made for him, depicting him as a moonman, saying, I will literally game if I don't mention the orthogonal group. 
you know, the public library is social, and there's media there. Pretty much its whole thing. And you can browse the stacks, or even post up at a comfortable chair. This feels like a sign that would be at a public library. Man with excellent self-restraint dismayed to realize that not wanting anything is more likely a depression symptom than a carefully honed skill that atones for other aspects of his character. <laughs> I hate how everything's called devices and apps now. Those are frail words with no weight and show no respect like machine and program do. I transitioned because people kept saying I reminded them of Sheldon Big Bang Theory and my only choice was to burn it all down and start over. This response is amazing. From bazingas to bazingas! <laughs> I'm going to hell. Sorry for seeing the divine and the monstrous. Not my fault. I'm sorry for making the divine monstrous. That one is my fault. I will take full credit for it. I'm not evil anymore. I want to be loved now. I'm evil again. You sorry, I can't hang out today. I must sit in the sun for warmth like a lizard that can't produce its own body heat. Yeah, it's an all-day thing. People are trying to talk to me and ask me things while the only thing happening in my brain is Mario Kart Wii menu music. Oh yeah, that's the stuff, man. Every day is a new chance to draw the worst thing you've ever drawn. Go ahead, artists. Draw Kirby without his shoes. Blood loss? Well, it's not lost. I know exactly where it went. Right over there. I've heard multiple first responders say legit that this is the joke they hear from older men all the time. Dad jokes. Even when a lot of your blood has gone over there. Hey, yo, call me a first level warlock the way I can do one thing before I need to lie down for eight hours. <laughs> My patron is depressing. World's oldest haunted house has passed away at the age of 207. Let's get it pregnant again. I think you have a fundamental misunderstanding of maybe everything, actually. This job is going to turn me into an alcoholic. You say that about everything. Yeah? And? <clears throat> Cute hat holder. Whittle moon. Pointy hearers. Floofy Benoit ears. Mo cheeks. Big moon heart container. Kikis. Grabbies. Mega floof. Leg. I don't care if I get canceled for posting this, someone has to say it. Rust is a shade of orange. Look me in the eyes and tell me this is the same as burgundy. Are we running out of discourse material or? I just realized that the kanji for bone looks like a little skeleton fella. And I can't kick it over. Hey, look at this little guy. What'd you do today? Walked. I slept. We live such extravagant lives, you and I. Yeah. Bad news. Your funny post is now going around with an addition that isn't that funny and ruins the punctuality of the original joke. Sad. Do mathematicians refer to tops and bottoms as numerators and denominators? They better now. Top picks for April? Ugh. Buddy, it's November. Wait. They're alive. And you can change that. My game master. A little terrified. When I'm liking your vent post, just know that I am kneeling with my sword to offer you supports. And my axe. Legitimately crying over the fact that I can't play Just Dance with my brother. He's over six feet tall with the grace of a baby giraffe. The apartment can't handle rescue team. When you're a 14-month-old French infant in a military hospital in the late 18th century and that weird hungry guy comes into your room. I can't stop thinking about this post. I don't think any of that face when you make one type post that prompted over 20 minutes of researching me before. And if you know, you know. When people steal your tags, when they take your tags and use them in their blogs, like, hey man, those are my tags, you just stole them. You just made me click on my activity and read tags only to realize I'm reading my own tags. Evil. Give them back. Today on Facts I Just Made Up, the giant checks awarded on game shows cannot be cashed at regular banks. They must be cashed at the giant banks that issued them. I want this to be real, though. Cringe culture is dead, but also, no. An adult shouldn't base their entire personality on liking a single media property. Neither should a teenager. A self-respecting fan of any age really ought to have at least, like, three things they'll make an absolute fucking fool of themselves over at the drop of a pin. 
you know, diversify that portfolio. Take it from stonks. For some reason, for the past 30 minutes, I've been chanting to myself, do not conform to societal norm, do not conform to societal norm, while doing things that society will definitely not deem normal. Ugh, this picture of a snake peeking around the doorway is my fave. This snake is just, just looks so nice. Just checking in on you. What a good friend. He's also giving you a little sniff. All praise me. I have gotten past the stupid writer's block. And now the next challenge... Getting over the artist block. Talking to your friends in text chat as a fast reader writer is a strange experience. You're left sitting there wondering if they're taking their time formulating a response, or you flashbang them with words. Hey, why in God's blue earth did the minions become the most popular characters in the Despicable Me franchise when Vector is literally right there? How'd you fuck that up? <gasps> did my Yowie stickers arrive? No. It was my bachelor's degree. People will say your ears before doing the stupidest thing you'll ever see. Oh man, it's the new YOLO. I ship this ship because I have eyes. I can see. I am the smartest person in the room. And I receive divine revelations about them in the dead of night, alone in my chambers. Therefore, Canaan. A part of adult life you never really realize as a child is the constant need for bowls in so many different sizes. You're always doing something and going, Man, I wish I had the right size bowl for this. No matter how many bowl sizes you have. It's true. You've stripped him of so many of his qualities that it's no longer he would not say that. It's, who the fuck even is that guy? I'm sorry, did you mean South Park Twitter? Watching something about conspiracy theories like, That's Nazi propaganda. That's been proven to not be true. And you might be onto something, but you really need to bring it back about two or three notches. <sighs> No, aliens didn't make that. It was Africans. No, aliens didn't make that. It was indigenous Americans. No, aliens didn't make that. It was Asians. No, Greek people aren't psychic or divine prophets. People are just predictable. And don't forget the fan favorite. Yep, the CAA straight up did that. These are reviews that were too short to make shorts out of, so I'm just going to do them all in one go. Okay, here we go. Ghostly friend keeps nightmares away. He's a very good man. He's very dapper. We have tea on Tuesdays at noon. He keeps bad dreams away by using Dream Eater. And look how redundant he is. Not sure what the end game is. It was great at first, but turned to ash not too long after. <laughs> That was good. Tell me how shipping crickets in this way makes any sense at all. I opened the box and my house was flooded with hundreds of tiny crickets the size of coffee grounds. I'm disgusted. Mm -mm. Five stars. I am the author and I think I did a pretty good job. Hmm. I don't even know this was an LGBT bar when I arrived. I wasn't even gay when I got there, but after a great night of food and drink and men, I sure am now. Great place. Five stars. What was that third part? Really that big. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Damn. Can finally have that one cup to copy of day my doctor keeps telling me to have. Him. He sits on my desk and photosynthesizes. Very polite. I love him. Whoops! I follow this recipe to the letter and it's perfect for turning a perfectly good artichoke into a decorative giant pine cone. All of your other recipes, Outland, have been perfect. Is there a step missing in your written description? We'll continue to watch and admire you on Good Eats, Iron Chef, and practice your recipes, but as far as choke scripts go, we'll just have salad and use this recipe for making Christmas decorations. All the best and respect, Rick B. One star. Welcome back, Andy. Feel free to start the show however you want. Nice. Also, don't forget, guys, we still have the plushie going right now. Make sure. Okay, we we'll go. Platonic confessions and acts of love and devotion. I will follow you to the ends of the earth, and I will not be falling in love with you about it. Thank God. I love it when people link Wikipedia pages instead of explaining the point. Like, the URL alone conveys so much disdain and contempt. Here is the information you desire. I found it with ease. For example, slide up. Turn us away while holding a table for someone coming later on. Poorly run and a major disappointment. Response from the owner. Wikipedia.org slash wiki slash table reservation. I enjoy the phrase creature comforts. 
because I am a creature, and I want to be comfortable. Aw, oh, yeah. I see this headline, Father says Baker ruined his son's birthday cake with their pathetic decorating skills. And as a former cake rex lover, I figured, sure, I'll bite. Let's see this cake. Literally nothing could have prepared me for this cake. They paid $49 for this frog-themed cake, and honestly, no amount of money in the world could be put on this masterpiece. <laughs> it looks like a little frog butt. Boyfriend, if I killed someone, would you tell on me? Me. No, but I'd use it against you all the time. I'd be like, so are you going to walk the dog, or do I have to make a phone call? You ever sleep so little, you feel like a low-polygon version of yourself? Like you're just going to be running on reduced graphics today? Oh my god, it's in words! These two men are a threat to national security. You left out a few. There are more than two men? Yeah, it's gotta be at least like, I don't know, four? Love that the favorite pastime of rich people in the 1800s was getting scammed pretending to talk to ghosts. Yeah, they're still like this. I need to go to an Amazon-funded spiritualist meeting. Tesla self-driving plant jet! Every corporate yoga retreat within a day's drive in San Francisco contains enough built-up J.O. crystal energy to blow Alcatraz to the moon. I wish I could find the article now, but this reminds me of the 2010 story of the Florida woman who tried to kill her husband by hiding a weapons-grade stash of bad energy harsh vibe crystals under his bed. The judge was like, I, I guess this is attempted murder, but the word attempted is doing an unusual amount of heavy lifting. Sorry about all the prawn bots. I'm trying to hit 75k followers and they got out of control. It'll happen again. Hear ye, hear ye! The weed law demands that you blaze it! Oh hell yeah. The poll feature really took off because it taps into Tumblr's favorite activity, being extremely opinionated about things that don't matter. I will die on any hill! My kink is unloved characters suddenly being loved unconditionally. My kink right now is unloved characters suddenly realizing that they are loved unconditionally. <laughs> New cooking show, where the judge panel is a bunch of neurodivergent people with the same ick food, and the chefs are challenged with finding a way to prepare it that the most amount of judges like. Bonus points if the winning recipes are put online somewhere. Oh my god, I need this show. Reading Aristotle. No idea what he's talking about. Check footnote. Uh, oh. No one knows what this paragraph means. I bet Aristotle didn't even know either. When the moon hits your eye like it's 445, that's November. I hate it. Whoa, dude. When I heard about rad femmes, I thought it'd be some of the most radical females. But these chicks are saying some bogus things about other babes. Not cool, dude. Not cool. Sudden death. Why we knew years before that it will come. Not so sudden now, are we? Sudden death. No, I'd been slipping arsenic into his coffee for five months. It was not sudden. Wait, this is about the new OnStars event, isn't it? It was, but I'm more invested in your story now. Please, no one tell my wife. Wait, Andy, Andy, why do you have that phone in your hand? Andy, Andy, no. Andy, Andy! There's no bad art. There's no good art either. There's no art at all because you haven't drawn any. How dare you say these words to me? Mr. Andy, the editor, obliterate this man. <laughs> to scramble the stretch. Imagine, if you will, a guy. Then what if you put him in situations? I think I have really something here. Perceive with your perceivers. Garlic 2 by Mary Island. Damn, when did they release Garlic 2? <laughs> Welcome to Doctor Office. Let's see what's the problem. Where are your bones? I was hungry. I'm going to start calling American music A-pop. For no reason. All oh, my mutuals are posting about their A-dramas again. Cat Breaking Bad be like, let's see Paul Allen's card. American Psycho, I mean. Cat American Psycho, I mean. I'm sorry. Yeah, Cat Breaking Bad be like, Jesse, we need to lay in this beam of sunshine. You conjure such a beautiful world. Do you guys have any idea how hard it is to fight every fiber in my being to not say Paul Allen's card? 
Help, I'm being taken away by Magic IRS. They're auditing my wizard taxes. <clears throat> Ladies, gentlemen, and nuns, we got him. Hey, saw some symptoms online. Reminded me of you. Save me, gay people in my phone. Gay people in my phone. Gay people in my phone, save me. Magic the Gathering tip. If you think and focus hard enough, you can summon cards to the top of your deck. However, in recent years, tournament judges have been learning telepathy to catch people doing this, so it's no longer a viable strategy. Fuck, they made the heart of the cards illegal. Hey, are you alright, honey? You barely put your blorbo in situations. Okay, but back when I could afford a therapist, my psychiatrist asked if I had written any fan fiction or planned out any in my head, and I was like, nah, not really. And she nodded and looked down at her notes and was like, so how do you feel about possibly trying Zoloft? I started laughing and she was like, I know it sounds funny, but it's been six months without you engaging in your favorite hobby. And that's the sign of depression is getting to the point where we might want to try some treatments with meds in addition to therapy. So like, yeah. So babe, are you okay? You barely put your blurbo in situations. High School Musical is a metaphor for bisexuality, and that basketball is the straights, and theater is the gays. And when Troy's dad said, You're your basketball player, not a singer, Troy said, What if I want to be both? And the whole team acts like they're shook. By School Musical. I think it's so fun that damn is such a casual curse word now. That it's basically become divorced completely from its original meaning. Like, oops, dropped my phone. Time to invoke the wrath of God about it in the most mildly annoyed tone of voice imaginable. Like, even around people who don't like swearing, you can often get away with it. Which is crazy if you think about it. Like, what the fuck? Broken glass looks so crunchy. I just want to crunch on marble like it's sugar. I think the Grand Canyon would taste like a starburst. I would disagree. Probably bad RPG idea. Cleric, who's trying to make everyone else atheists? It's their god, not anyone else's. That's a pretty good idea, actually. Sometimes, things that are fanon are worse. Why would you say something so controversial, yet so brave, on the internet? I have witnessed unspeakable horrors. The horrors weren't undescribable or anything. I just had to sign an NDA. No, I can't tell you what it is. Get, 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 get out of my house! Heard my pain. It's a tumbler. By the way, we hit the goal on the plushies, so if you had any fear that you weren't going to get it because we wouldn't make the goal now that, that it, it happened, so you can get it now. Let's go! The 2014 Tumblr Girl is back. I've literally been here the whole time. <laughs> it smells like... The holidays bring me Mariah Carey. New ship dynamic called Schrodinger's Divorce, where characters are simultaneously bitterly divorced and finally married for 20 years. This sounds like the inconsistent relationship between Lois Griffin and Peter Griffin. Tell me I'm wrong. Dealing with auditory processing disorder. The lawful. Take the part you heard and turn it into a clarifying question. You saw your cousin where? Or she's writing a what? Neutral, what did you say? And chaotic. Take a wild stab at what the person said. You want to baptize a mackerel? Guys, a new type of poison has been discovered which does not bubble and produce green smoke in the shape of a skull. Please stay safe. I now have one fear. By the way, if I say things like, by God or good Lord in post, please be aware, I don't mean it in a Catholic way. I mean it in a 1950s scientist reacting in horror after they created an evil creature in the lab set in the distant future year of 2005. By God. People on Facebook were being so mean to this baby, I got so sad. He's just a baby with ears. Love is stored in the wrinkles, and I am going to kiss every wrinkle on that little baby. Apparently this locket I found is meant for the whole squad. It's for a D&D &D party. 
oh, this would be a great magical item that functions as a cell phone. Put a picture in each slot, and then when you click the picture, you can talk to that person or have it share spells on them or whatever. Either way, very cool. Andy, 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 please! I'm going to allow this. Why do cats have an extra bean on their wrist? What is it for? Well, all cats have a carpal pad on each front paw. It provides traction if a cat skids and also acts like a shock absorber during a jump. It also provides traction if a cat is skidding to a stop, making their way down a hill. Cutting edge cat technologies. As a serial killer, my name would be The Suspense, so my victims would be like, Oh no, The Suspense is killing me! And we would both laugh and laugh right before I killed them. You roll up to the wizard battle and your opponent takes out a spell book, but it's just one of these. Yeah, I'd leave. This is a sign that my opponent has the most fucked up unethical spells imaginable. And I am NOT about to be the subject to Malkazir's piercing prostate bomb or something. 2020 Me. When I'm in an area... I want out! We learned nothing. And we will continue to learn nothing. Hey look, it's that Drawfee guy, whoever he is, that my comments keep, you know, going nuts about. Cool. Hi. Please respond to this ask by saying everything you want to about Godzilla minus one. Thank you. Yeah, the more I talk about Godzilla, the more likely fandom assassins blow my brain out. Hey, we're not all bad. Just a shocking majority of us. <laughs> it's too real. Sometimes I think about how Sokka literally invented submarines and how Aang is literally the Avatar, but when both of them put their brain cells together, they come up with ideas like writing a letter to Katara from Toph. Hey. Listen, I'm going to tell you something that my dad once told me. Sometimes a brain surgeon doesn't know how to cook a steak. Mama didn't raise a quitter, but she did raise a homosexual and an idiot. I'm sorry, is this about a starian? So what if my startup t-shirt for bugs didn't go anywhere? That doesn't mean you shouldn't invest in shoes for bugs. You don't get it. They have to buy six. Hang on, that sounds like a good idea. Attention, kitty girls. Okay, uh, 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 look at it, look at it. Oh, it's going over there. The fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. It's more likely than you think. Ha <laughs> make breath jokes. Hello, this is your daily reminder to go be a creature. And a cryptid one at that. Watching Sakura Trick on YouTube as a 144-year-old blew my mind so much. What do you mean girls can kiss each other more than once even? 144 years old? Vampire typo! Oh man. I wish I knew how to draw. Woo! Yeah, baby! Newsflash! You know how to just do it and it'll work! Wow. Why are cats so silly? What gave them the right to be so magic? Sometimes I'm sad and the orange one, though he has no brain cells to spare, comes and cuddles me until I feel better. The gray one likes a certain kind of blanket and loves to be picked up when I'm wearing my fuzzy robe. When you wake them up, they suddenly go all confused. When they want attention, they scream. Honestly, a perfect creature. Hey, that's my emotional support, morally ambiguous, misunderstood, full of trauma, touch, starved, yearning for love, drenched in blood, responsible for numerous atrocities, comfort character who is trying, and you will treat them with respect. Dungeons and dragons? Oh, no, 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 no. A dungeon is not a healthy environment for a dragon. They need a nice healthy cave, at minimum, with an opening to the sky for them to stretch their wingies and no adventurers coming in to slay them. What? Dragons are an endangered species. No, 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 no. The dungeon is inside the dragon. You want to run that by me again? Hey, can you come and collect your freak of a man, please? He's doing things. No! I set him loose on purpose. He needs enrichment! And what are some good souls-alike dungeon crawler restaurants that I can take my girlfriend to? May I suggest? Is the world's sexiest man dying? Me every time my stomach hurts. Yeah, and dare this and soon dare that. How about you start doing your lawn dare you know, you do numbers on Tumblr, evil wizard. What is Tumblr? I'm on my crystal ball right now. 
Well, we named her Crystal Ball Tumbler. That explains it. Spirits, show me the next post. Ho, 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 ho. Shoelaces. From the president. How novel. Now, spirits, show me Elvin Fenboys. I just heard someone say, it's like a girl, but a dude. And I completely agree. It's always, I can make them better or I can make them worse. Well, I can make sure they go to bed on time and eat something nutritious for breakfast. It's what they deserve. The worst part of showering is the ceaseless, unending screams which tear at your soul. Yeah, maybe turn the hot water down a bit. Oh, the girls are fighting. Wait, we adjust my glasses, squinting. By God. It appears I was mistaken. There. My goodness. My God, Andy, look away! Hey guys, just a heads up. There's a new scam going around where a gnome will disguise itself with orc facts and then steal all your berries. Stay safe out there. Now, if you excuse me, I'm just gonna turn around and ho ho! Gotcha, bitch! Orc fact! Got your stupid ass! This is a gnome post! Give me all your fucking berries right now! Hey, oh. What kind of bird is this? The kind with several other birds inside it. Oh, a mother! How wonderful. I had to do a double take because it suspiciously looks like my bird. I can never go to Australia because dingoes look like normal dogs and I couldn't trust myself not to try to pet them. What do you mean these good boys can kill me? So my husband gives people the thumbs down instead of flicking them off from the car. He reports that the thumbs down makes people even more mad. I once had someone wag their finger at me and to this day, I have not forgotten how upset it made me. I remember one time I rolled my window down and shouted out, Your father would be disappointed in you! And I still wonder to this day if that person thinks about me. Guys will see a location and think, Wow, that's a great place for a clan of warrior kids. And they're probably right. His swagless looks and cringe fail personality have captivated me. Sorry, did you mean Zealous Wilder? Are you really an introvert or were you just ignored every time you used to talk and now you just prefer being quiet? <laughs> Shut up, you don't know me! Discord drastically changed its UI. Please be strong, autistic people in my phone. Oh, feels so good. I literally had to hunt around for an older version of the app because my choices were light mode that sears my eyes or two dark options that have way more contrast than before, which causes physical pain due to the strain it puts on my eyes. I don't like it. It's icky. Hey, how do you explain to abled people that walking is fine, standing is very, very bad? Like, I think able people view standing is easier, so if you can walk, you can stand. But you see, if I don't keep the bone demons distracted with motion, they start dismantling my skeleton for sport. It's like the movie Speed, but with my life. Since you can't, an anarchist, opinions on black cats as symbol of anarchism? All cats are anarchists. Ew. All cats are fueled by anarchism in their own unique way. For example... Ginger cats are so stupid, they cause us emotional turmoil. You need to eat a food. None of the food in the house is the right food. And what is the right food? Well, only God knows, and we're not on speaking terms right now. This sounds like a line from Aqua Teen. A voice within my head whispers to me to write fanfic. And it wants it to be spicy. A bag of holding can only hold one thing and one thing only. It can be anything, but there could only be one. In the bag. It's gonna be the moon. Game. Has any kind of elemental-based fighting system. Me. Apply Pokemon logic. Well, to be fair, Pokemon element logic is rooted in normal logic. Yeah, everyone knows a wrestler's biggest weakness is the local pigeons. Have you ever tried punching a bird? It's incredibly freeing to realize that I'm entitled to never having to come up with anything original ever again. Because I already made Cookie Clicker, and I can be satisfied with that. Sorry, this isn't meant to be relatable. The rest of y'all still gotta try. Hey, Arteel, you posted a joke about someone else already made that post like a month ago. Don't care, popularized the game genre. He did do that, yeah. You're 23? Why are you wasting your prime years on this godforsaken website, BBG? Yeah, I should be at the club. Hey, I may be 20, but I am also a loser. You ever think about that? When I am president, I will abolish... There will no longer be any. You have mine. Thank you for your terrible news. Apparently just vibing with your story ideas does not make the stories appear fully written in a Word document. <laughs> hey guys, there is in fact a platonic explanation for this. If you're not a coward.
All right, chat, name that show and name that scene. Petition to abbreviate Fortnite skin to foreskin? <sighs> Andy, don't even, don't even blow this one up. Just put it in the corner, put a little dunce cap on it, and give it, like, the fatherly disappointed look of shame. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be done. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be done. It doesn't have to be- I refuse to cut pizza again with anything other than a hand-forged Viking pizza axe. I know what I want for Christmas. Cyberpunk isn't just about cool robot powers. It is a horror story about the nightmare direction our world is heading in. First ever recorded instance of a gamer developing enough media literacy to recognize basic themes! It's happened! The urge to write is like a cat meowing for dear life for someone to open the goddamn door, who then shows utter disinterest in said open door. I've literally done that with my art. Be like, oh my god, I have an amazing idea! Open up iPad. Never mind! Imagine, if you will, three rabbits. Honey, boss. Hey, wait a minute. I love it when people are like, you can't change the English language! When the English language is known for changing, like, every five minutes since the day it was invented? <laughs> You're pretty. Yes, but am I hauntingly beautiful? If Dracula saw me in the streets of Romania, would he be so mesmerized by my beauty that he would start writing a bunch of poems about how much he craves my body and my blood? My uncle is autistic, so he has sensory sensitivities, and he's largely nonverbal, so he can't tell you what those sensitivities are. So what he does is if you give him a shirt that is a bad texture, he goes and gets his scissors and he cuts it into tiny little pieces so no one can ever ask him to wear it ever again. And the thing is, is that he is so totally right. The Mr. Beast extension isn't always great at identifying what a video thumbnail is. This is horrifying. This was over my town this morning, and I think it's here to finally kill me. Ah, I now have two fears. My boyfriend texts me about basketball like a medieval scribe would speak of a revolution. Kings are getting destroyed by the warriors. I'm miserable. I am crying over this picture. <laughs> Mythbusters. <laughs> it's Mythbusters, guys. Probably bad RPG ideas. Curse that demotes your pronouns to amateur nouns. How fucking dare you? Imagine being an animal without a tail. I'd be livid. Wait. The creator of Terraria says the worst part of making one of the biggest indie games ever is that their wife likes Stardew Valley more. <laughs> oh, that's cold-blooded. People forget that having an OC doesn't just equate to silly drawings and lore posts. If you are a published author, you just monetize your OCs. Congratulations. You fucking pimp. You should make sure to get this thing polished at least twice a year. Diamonds need to be polished once or twice in a year. Oh. Oh, come the fuck on!